Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my March favorite. I apologize for not doing a video last week. It was just one of those weeks where I was coming home, I was leaving early in the morning, I was coming home when it was dark out and there was no time to film and my weekends were all filled up. So, you know, it happens every once in a while, but I did vlog a little bit, I believe Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know if I put up Saturday because I was with Alex. Um, but yeah, I did put up a vlog for last weekend, so be sure to check that out. So I actually don't have a lot of things that are my favorite this month, um, but most of them are beauty products and a couple are like random things and then I'll go into like favorite songs and whatnot. So I'm just going to jump into it. My first favorite is Glitter Liner from Kiko. So this is the packaging. Over a month ago, I went to the mall with um, my friends from beauty school. And I believe we went right before Valentine's Day. There's a vlog up on my vlog channel of when we went, so I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, they took me to Kiko. Yeah, Kiko. I keep thinking Kiku, like the restaurant. But yeah, they took me to Kiko. Um, it's apparently an Italian like makeup company store or whatever. Um, and I really should know about it, but I had no idea what it was. I had never heard of it. So they took me there, and I really wasn't going to get anything, but then I was looking, and they had glitter liners and like really pretty sparkly things and they had this glitter liner and mascara um hypnotic gaze mascara eyeliner duo so you open the fat part first and this wand is huge like let's just take a minute here it's absolutely humongous but i love it like i have really long naturally long eyelashes anyway so like i really like this it's not good to like get in between each lash and whatever but i really like i don't know there's just a big brush and it makes my eyelashes bigger i really don't have a problem with any mascaras and then the top little part here is the eyeliner so i'll just swatch this real quick and this is the more um they had like more silver ones more gold ones more iridescent with like a bunch of colors in them then some that were just like one color this one i think is more of the gold one that's what i see more i don't know it just says number one i don't remember how many numbers but this is what it looks like it's just super pretty and i find that it dries pretty quick and it stayed on all day didn't peel off or flake off or anything like that so this is definitely one of my favorites i've been trying to do makeup looks and incorporated a lot but yeah I absolutely love that um I've been trying to do, I got a haircut and I've been trying to take care of my hair a little bit more um really do it my hair more because I haven't I really don't do my hair that often I kind of just leave it straight whatever um but I've been trying to do it more and take care of it a lot better um before I cut it all off for the summer so I've been using the Avon Advanced Tex Techniques 360 Nourish Moroccan Argan Oil and I really love it like I don't know I've had this for a while I had a bottle that was like one-fourth of a way full and then a full bottle and I just threw out the other one because I didn't know how long I'd had it if it was old and whatever so I've been using this and I have a lot of hair and it's very very thick so I do about five pumps in my hand rub it all together and go from my ends up and I probably stop about here because I don't want to get it too much in my base area because I don't want to look greasy. Basically, it says it just says leave-in treatment for all hair types. You can use it just as regular leave-in, like, treatment. You can use it as heat protectant. I use it. It's really good for keeping your hair smooth and soft, a little bit shiny, not too shiny where it's, like, oily or anything like that. Um, but it definitely helps with frizz. So, yeah, I've been using that. I, I used it a long time ago and just started using it again. So, that's definitely one of my favorites that I keep going back to. And then my other hair product is Smooth Encounter with Coconut Oil from Smooth Sexy Hair. And honestly, I love it. I really didn't get into Big Sexy Hair until I started going to Empire. We use a lot of different products at Empire, but one of the ones that we use is the Big Sexy line. We have Healthy Sexy Hair, Smooth Sexy Hair, Big Sexy Hair, um, whatever other kind of sexy hairs they have, we got them. Um, so yeah, I've been, I used this on a couple people at school, and then one day I wanted to use it on me, 
because I saw that there was like glitter in it and I was like I need it so I got a student discount and I bought one for myself for at home and basically I'll put in the argan Moroccan argan oil on my hair every single time after I shower and then if I'm using heat where I'm blow drying or like um, my hair is still damp and I'm going to let it dry and then straighten it or something like that. I'll put it in the smooth encounter. It really helps with frizz and just making it look really soft and smooth and sleek. Um, not too shiny though, but it does have glitter in it, so anything with glitter I love. The next beauty product I have is my Jergens Natural Glow uh, Firming da Daily Moisturizer. And this is the medium to tan skin tones because I needed to get tan fast um and no, no one had like the fair to medium it was only medium to tan so whatever like you can't even tell like maybe a little on my wrist i don't even think you can tell that much on my wrist there's like a little line of demarcation where my hair tie was i've been using jergens for years but it got to that time of the year where i felt like my skin was going see-through i was so white that i need to put on tanning lotion so i put this on every time after i shower um and every time I shower, I, lo I use a loofah and really try to exfoliate any patches that look like they need to come off. Um, if there's too much or stuff like that. If anyone would like to see a self-tanning review slash tutorial, I guess, um, comment down below. I've been using Jergens for years and I pretty much have it down to a science where I don't have any lines all over me or anything like that. I really haven't tried any other self-tanners. This has been my go-to for years now, so it's always been my favorite. My last kind of beauty product is um, a fragrance. It's the Sweet Pea Fragrance from Bath & Body Works. And I know Sweet Pea is like a very common scent, but... Mm, it's a very common sweet scent. Um, and my sister had it, she didn't want it anymore, and it's like a full bottle, so I took it and I've been using it so much. I just really like it. I used to use, I used to use Sweet Pea, Sea Island Cotton, and Fresh Linen all the time. Um, but yeah, I keep, I think this video is me going back to like old favorites. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites right now that I've been using up. Okay, next I have this Yankee Candle Fragrance Sphere with odor neutralizing beads and this is in the scent Ocean Star and I've really been loving this I just keep it in my room it has I don't know it's definitely not my favorite scent but I do love the beads and you know when it's done because the beads shrink down and like they get really really small and the liquid goes away in here um they are toxic so don't touch them don't let animals eat them Keep them far away from children. But I think it's really good. I just shake it up every once in a while. Move it to a different place in my room. Keeps my room smelling fresh. Um, and then I didn't bring it inside because it's in my car. But I have the Yankee Candle hanging car scent thing. And it's in the scent Beach Walk. And that is probably my new favorite scent from them right now. Okay, my next favorite is shoes. These are my brand new sneaker heel wedges. They are from Joyce Leslie. And my friend Cassie at school had these. She told me that she went there one day after school because she wanted new black sneakers. And they had a lot of black sneakers. But they had these, we need to be wearing leather sneakers. So they had these really nice ones that have leather on the front here. And then the shiny or leather on the straps and like on the side. But this is leather here. And this is leather here. And they have black bottoms. So they're okay for school. And they're heels. So it's awesome. I love sneaker heels. They're like my absolute favorite. Like I think they're just so comfy. I only have two pairs. But I just think that they're so comfy. And I don't know. I just love them. Um, so I got these from Joyce Leslie. And they were $6.50. Like I don't even know. Like no complaints. They're my favorite. So my next favorite is this, I believe it was like a laptop case, like a little netbook case, um, but my grandma gave it to me because she her laptop was too big to fit in it. So I have actually been using it as a case to hold headphones, chargers, stuff like that, and my iPad. So I keep that in here, and I just love it. It's called, um, 
I don't remember what it's really called, but it's from Studio O, O H. Um, if I find their website or something, I'll leave it down below. And I just, I just love it, and I, I fit so much in it. It velcros here, and then you have. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder to make sure that you guys can see this. Oh, this little Studio O card. And then you have this pocket up here, which doesn't go very far. I can fit my fingers and that's about it. But you got that pocket there with a very nice zipper. You have a pocket. You have a pocket right here, which I'm keeping some papers in from school. This one doesn't Velcro or anything like that. It's just like a little pocket. And then you have the inside of the case, which is holding all my stuff. But what I really love about this specific like netbook or ipad case or whatever it is um is it's fuzzy so it's not scratching my ipad when i don't have an actual like case on my ipad it's not scratching it or anything like that i've left my phone in there and it's just really soft which i think is really smart because most of the time things get scratched up so in here i have my ipad and stuff like that and i've just been bringing it to school and i love it shout out to my grandma for being the real mvp Alright, so my next couple of favorites, I'll probably do like songs or whatever, but I had to mention this one game because I've been obsessed with it and didn't want to mention it in last month's favorites because they were really long. I have a whole folder full of games. If you guys want to see a video on what's on my phone or what's on my iPad, just comment that down below. Okay, so this has been my favorite game for a couple months now, like maybe like two or three months. It's called Village Life and I'm completely obsessed. Basically, the point of the game is you create two villagers one is you and one is like whoever you marry so obviously i named myself samantha and then i named my other villager alex we rescued some people and they were in our village and then we had some babies and they were in our village and then all your people grow up and you have to get them married um and keep like multiplying basically to help your village keep going and you want to make them happy and like grow food, always have fire, always have water, you want to have toys for people and stuff like that and like things for them to do. So basically I th that's the point of the game. I feel like it's Sims but not really like because Sims is amazing. So yeah this is basically what it looks like. Sorry if the light for my vanity is like messing it up but yeah this is my village grow things over here whatever and this is the main village I have a pool over there because you know I'm cool like that I want them to have a pool and have fun but yeah so that's my <laughs> village life maybe when I make a gaming channel I'll talk about that more I don't want to bore everyone to that but that's my village um so yeah so now I'm gonna go into favorite songs so basically I just have like a list of songs on my phone that like I keep adding in when I hear things on the radio and like I actually remember to put them on my phone after I'm driving or at school or on TV shows, random things like that. Ugh, one of my favorites right now, I'm gonna get so made fun of for, is Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. Um, that's all like we listen to at school, basically. Um, cause Fetty Wap is from New Jersey, so... It's just such a good song. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Load. Alright, I'm just gonna save it myself from embarrassing myself singing that song. But yeah. Mm. Earned it. The Weeknd from Fifty Shades of Grey. I have not seen Fifty Shades of Grey. I have no desire to see it, but this song is just... This one was in one of my videos.
this one. Okay, this next song I have loved for a really long time, but now it just started getting popular on the radio. I love the song as soon as it came out, but it's it's <laughs> So now that I got all that out of my system, that singing and whatnot, um, that was, sorry, that was my March favorites. I hope you guys liked it. There weren't that many products this month. Hopefully this was a shorter video than last month. If you guys liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, comment what you thought and any requests down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.